Hello, everybody. My name is Matthew Fenton. I'm the Director of Athletic Communications at Messiah College. Uh, and today, we're going to walk you through how we do our highlight packages here at Messiah. Um, I know many of us are short-staffed. We only have one-person operations or small teams. Uh, so a three- to five-minute highlight package after a game uh, is not always the easiest thing in the world. So here at Messiah, we do something called a highlight of the night. Uh, this is either one clip or a series of clips in total about 60 seconds or shorter. Um, so we can use these on Instagram, we can use them on Twitter, um, post them to YouTube, and then link them to our stories online. Uh, really the point of it is to get across the big plays of the game. We do a voiceover with it as well, so it feels kind of like a Sports Center highlight package from back in the day. Um, and does something pretty cool so we can give some more context to the game. So to get started, uh, really the only things you're going to need are um, a clip from the game. So for us, we do this for any of our um, live streamed events. And so in here I have everything built already, but this is um, from our women's soccer match against Arcadia a couple weeks ago. So we have a couple of clips in there. We've got our intro um, clips here in the beginning, and that's just our logo, as well as uh, highlight of the night slide, as well as a slide with some more info. And then on the back end, just how to follow us. So on gomasai.com, our website. Um, so those were just built by designing a couple of JPEGs, putting them in and putting a series of transitions. So we have the slide there, and then I think another slide there, and then maybe the mosaic look um, on this one to flip over. So just a series of transitions with JPEGs in between. We've got our clips here in the middle. So I've picked out a couple of clips from the game. We'll show you how to do that pretty easily here in a couple minutes. Um, and then down below, we've got uh, some music in the background as well as our voiceover down below. So that's kind of the, the main guts of this operation. Um, tonight, or today right now, we're going to be changing this over um, for a volleyball match that we just played last night. So to change this, all I'm going to do is jump into Photoshop, and we're going to update this slide right here. So to change it from women's soccer against Arcadia, uh, we're going to change it over to uh, women's volleyball against Alvernia from last night. So we'll come in here, you can just change it. Um, really just having a template made is the hardest part. We change the, the opponent, team, and then the date on here. And then I just save them as a ping file. So when I'm clicked out of here, I'll be able to save. Um, just export it as a ping and it'll save wherever you want. So we save it right in here to our um, Dropbox folder just as a PNG file. Um, we'll replace it because we already did this last night, but um, we'll pop it in here and then I'll just drag it out of that folder. Um, you can see it right in there. All you have to do is drag it out of the folder and you can drop it right onto um, your clip. I say replace from start so it keeps it the same length. Um, but you'll see everything is updated on there uh, the way that we're looking for. So our title slide is updated. I'm going to delete my voiceover from soccer from the other night. Um, and now I'm just going to grab your game film um, or your video clips. Uh, and for us, we downloaded that as master, uh, master one right there. I've used this, we use Sidearm as our video client um, for streaming purposes. So I downloaded this right from the back end of Sidearm. Uh, I've also been a stretch user in the past, and they're easy enough to download uh, as well and download them you know, pretty quickly after a game. So stretch, we always would call afterward to make sure that the file was pushed over the archives. Um, sidearm, it's pretty easy. We can just click end stream. Uh, I don't know what that looks like for BoxCast or for some other outlets, uh, but I know that there are very easy ways to do this. So all we do is just download our film, and then I'm just going to drag this into my clips up top. We're using iMovie. Um, again, we don't have tons of fancy equipment. This just came standard on the Mac. So it's something that I've learned how to use over the years. Um, and it's really nothing too, too crazy. Um, so generally when I'm sitting in a game, I statted our game last night. Um, and during the game, I like to write down key plays throughout. It's just a little bit of a useful tip, uh, particularly in a sport like volleyball, where there's so many points and so many different highlights that you could use. Um, soccer, it's a little easier. Lacrosse, there's not maybe as many goals, um, or field hockey even. So you can pick out a couple of those big moments and show those goals in down below. But volleyball, I like to um, just pull together a couple of clips. So in our case, last night we had uh, one of our girls, 
score her 1,000th career kill. So we're going to put that one in as our highlight clip. Um, and so all I do is up top here in my um, in my library of clips, uh, I'm just going to find this clip. So I know it happened when it was 8-2 to because her kill made it 9-2. to two. So we'll start playing the clip, and you're just going to click I on top to go in. And then when it goes in, not the most impressive thousandth kill, but still gets down. Uh, we'll just click the O for the out of our clip. And it'll select just that portion of your clip up in your library. So all I'm going to do is click that and drag it down below. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact at the moment because uh, we can edit it underneath. So I, I kind of want to uh, move this forward a little bit in our clip. So you can just click and drag it forward few seconds. So you see our clip is just 12 seconds long, not super long at the moment. Um, but overall, we've got some things on either side of our video. So when we play it, um, you'll be able to see the transition come from our clip in the beginning, the clip will happen. Uh, we have some time to dissect the play and talk about it before we go to our ending slide uh, here at the end. So a couple of little things happening, we'll probably add in a few more clips. Uh, we won't walk through that necessarily at the moment, but uh, it's pretty straightforward to drop them in there. Um, I deleted our women's soccer clips from a moment ago. I keep those in to start um, just because I want that transition at the end right here to fade out. So I don't have to change that transition out all the time. Um, so I just keep those in until I get the other clips in um, as we go. So uh, one other thing that I do do is uh, we have commentators on a lot of our streams. And so you'll see here in the audio bar for that clip, you have our commentator talking. So if you could hear it, you would hear uh, Caleb, our commentator, talking over top of it. I don't want that in our highlight video. Uh, occasionally I'll use it as a way to jump into, hey, let's take a listen to you know, the, the gomasai.tv broadcast. Um, but we're not going to do that tonight because it wasn't the greatest call ever. So I'm going to turn that audio down all the way. And so now we just have music in the background. Um, and so maybe we'll pull a couple more clips together and we'll find another one for the Falcons. Maybe the final clip of the night, the final point. Just to wrap up our video. And let's see it here. So we'll go in and then back out. Nice kill from, who is that, Rachel Garrett there on the near side. So then we'll go out. So we have our clip right there and just drag that underneath. And again, we'll turn down the commentators because we don't want them on this clip. And then I can just change the length of my music on the bottom by just clicking the side and get that kind of arrows to either side. And you can move it around. So this is going to be my highlight video tonight. Uh, we could make it a little longer. You can add in some more. It's only 35 seconds right now from start to finish. Um, and now it's going to be time for our voiceover. So really the main components of a highlight of the night in my mind um, are this intro with some of the uh, information about the game, uh, the clips definitely from the actual highlights, um, our outro uh, or a little slide at the end with some more information on how to follow the Falcons, some music, and then we do a voiceover. So the voiceovers in my mind give a lot of context to the game. You can talk about who had kills. You can give some, some more information about what's coming up for the Falcons or where they've been in the past or kind of the impact of the game. So this, I will say, is probably the hardest part of any highlight of the night. Um, anybody in my office will probably say the same thing because uh, it takes a few tries to get it right. Uh, I don't like to write things down. Um, I usually keep a couple of notes on who had kills or who had maybe uh, a match high in kills or who goal scorers were, things like that, um, but not necessarily writing down all of the information um, about uh, the contest and, and who was winning. So um, for us, I kind of take that. The way you'll do it is um, you'll click on this little video record voiceover. As you can see, the uh, little green dots here on the right are jumping around a little bit because there's some noise in our office. Um, but all you'll do is just click on this record button. It'll count you down as you start your clip, and then you'll record a highlight of the night. So I would say something like, Messiah Women's Volleyball hosting the Arcadian Knights. I messed up already, so we're going to press the pause button. I can go down here and delete that voiceover uh, if I don't like it and come back to the beginning and start over. 
So we're playing the Alvernia Golden Wolves. So I would say Masai Women's Volleyball hosting the Alvernia Golden Wolves Tuesday night on Jordan Court and Hitchcock Arena. We'll take a look at our highlight of the night. Milestone watch for the Falcons. Mary Underman, three kills away from 1,000 entering the night, picks up her 1,000th career kill, giving the Falcons a 9-2 lead early on in set number one. Falcons would go on for a 25-12 victory in the opening set. Fast forward, final point of the night. Rachel Garrett with the kill down the left side. Falcons would go on for the 3-0 sweep. They're next in action on Friday night as they host the Elizabethtown Blue Jays on Friday at 7 p.m. So when the clip's done, I'm not wild about it, but it's a pretty decent take for my second try. Um, but what I would do is I can click in here. We can listen to it back. Um, there's a couple of things I might change. Maybe I want to change the ending. I can come in here and just clip the ending if I wanted to because um, I messed up a little bit on what time they were playing on Friday. Um, but you can come in here and clip that. So for me, I just went Command B on the bottom uh, and just clicked uh, the blade tool there to snip that voiceover. So I could delete that if I wanted to. Just press the backspace there when I had it selected and then re-record the ending if I wanted to. Um, or I could keep it as is and, and feel comfortable about it. Uh, the one other thing I like to do, because I've changed our, uh, our music level um, up here, I think I have it down to yet yeah, 10%. So that's consistent. I want that to be the same throughout. Um, so I just want to not, I want to click off of lower volume of other clips. And so you'll see right there when I have the voiceover selected, initially it had lower volume of other clips checked. Uh, as we were going, but if I uncheck that, it changes my music down here uh, back to the 10% that I wanted it at uh, the whole time. So that's just a, a little tip for the way that we had this set up uh, for ourselves. Uh, but when we're done, feel really comfortable about all this, uh, I just go to the top to this little share button and I click file and we call everything HOTN for highlight of the night and then we'll just change it for women's volleyball. And this was for 10, 15, 2019. I would say next. And then we always save them into Dropbox. So Dropbox is really nice for us because I can take that file, download it onto my phone. I can download it onto another computer. Uh, if one of our graduate assistants needs access to it quickly in our office, uh, they can download it as well. Uh, so that's something that we do often. We put everything in Dropbox so we can share it quickly. Um, and really nice, especially when posting to Instagram or to Twitter uh, or any social channels, I can just download it right on my phone. So I actually have this already in from last night um, in here, so I'm not going to save it at the moment. Um, but that's how you would uh, put together a little highlight of the night clip. Uh, there's obviously many other things that we could talk about when going through this process. That's a very brief overview. Uh, I will mention that there, I might have mentioned it at the beginning, but uh, we have a little document that we put together on um, Cosida.com that has a lot more of the in-depth pieces of what this looks like. Uh, this was kind of just a, a quick preview of what that looks like for us and, and putting together a highlight of the night. So um, I'm not an expert in any of this stuff, but that's just a little bit of how we do our highlight videos over here. Um, nothing really super crazy or fancy, but um, we really love having the clips. It gets super high engagement with our fans and student athletes. I know love People love listening to the highlight of the night and seeing uh, what was going on here around Grantham. Um, but really, start to start to finish, in my mind, usually a 10 to 20 minute process, depending on how well you know your clips, um, how well you can get your voiceover out quickly, um, and, and things of that nature. So I think it's definitely a worthwhile investment uh, to spend a couple minutes at the end of the night doing it. Um, doesn't really require a lot of extra filming, particularly if you're using game film. Uh, but hopefully this uh, can help somebody else um, as you're putting together some highlight video. So if you ever had any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, again, Matthew Fenton at Masai College. Uh, my email address is mfenton at masai.edu. Uh, happy to help out or happy to have uh, some conversations about video content or anything else uh, as you go along. So hope this is helpful and uh, thanks so much for joining us.